art galleries and museums are places we can go to experience eye-catching masterpieces. But in most cases, these places are a bit, shh, quiet. You wouldn't want to run around in them and there's definitely no touching the art. Trust me, don't even try that. Luckily, in some cases, the art is brought outside the confines of a museum. There are so many examples of public art scattered all around the Buckeye State, ranging from the wacky to the wonderful to, let's say, thought-provoking. Yeah, I'll go with that. In Dublin, the Field of Corn installation consists of 109 giant concrete ears of corn sprouting out of a grassy field. Built in 1994, the art honors the inventor of several hybrid species of corn, Sam France, who once farmed the land. It's also meant to remind visitors of Dublin's agricultural heritage, but it actually reminds a lot of people of something else. It's been dubbed Cornhenge because of its similarity to the mysterious prehistoric monument Stonehenge. And lots of folks find these people-sized corn cobs equally as puzzling. Another oversized object that doubles as public art calls Cleveland Home. Known as the world's largest rubber stamp, or simply free stamp, this nearly 30-foot tall sculpture was designed by Klaus Oldenburg in 1985. The word free was meant to reference the nearby Soldiers and Sailors Monument, which honors the Civil War veterans who fought to free Southern slaves. The sculpture was supposed to sit outside Standard Oil headquarters and was designed to stand upright with the word free facing the sky, but that's not how things worked out. Instead, Standard Oil donated it to the city who put the art blocks away in Willard Park and laid it on its side. Klaus Oldenburg is said to have told a reporter that it looked like a giant hand picked up the sculpture from its intended location and angrily hurled it several blocks, where it ended up on its side. Down in Cincinnati, they're certainly not immune to the oversized objects craze. I'm looking at you, giant red sport gun. But they also turn bare city walls into public masterpieces with some vibrant murals that pay tribute to the vibrant Queen City. An organization called Artwork Cincinnati has created over 100 public murals in and around Cincinnati, like this one called Fresh Harvest, which is emblazoned on the side of the corporate headquarters of the Kroger supermarket chain. Be careful not to walk under it. It looks like those huge vegetables are dropping onto the street. Whether you happen to love it or hate it, public art is available to everyone. And that's what makes it so great. It allows you to experience something unique and interesting in your everyday life. Now we can't possibly cover all the public art in Ohio because there's just too much. So take a walk and see what you can find and maybe think of some art on your own.